Hi guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, a quick video today of um, just showcasing some of the covers that are available um, for custom orders or that I will be working my way through over the next uh, few weeks. Um, I have had a request um, for somebody who would like to see some of the covers to make a decision on um, the journal that they'd like to have made up. So. Um, I thought I'd just uh, sort of do a recording and um, share that so that we can all see what's uh, what's on the go. So without further ado, um, I shall just show you what we've got available. So we have a vintage post carved in botanical with some vintage fabric. I may well embellish that a bit little further, but um, it's actually got an old a vintage children's um, pages and, and fabric. Um, on the inside um, and this one measures we probably have about three signatures I think and it measures 12 by hmm, I should have written this down to 19 but I love the, I love those those gorgeous colors on that one this one you've seen I'm going to be doing this um, I've actually got the pages um, all done for this this um, it's going to be travel themed uh, a vintage travel theme and that's again vintage posts card and um, vintage fabric on that as well a little stash that I have and I've actually got uh, from a tea dyed a, a beautiful image on the inside cover of that one and that again is um, a smaller one and this is at about 12 and a half centimeters by 19 and that'll probably have about three hefty signatures in it which will give us a good um quite a bit of room to uh, stuff with embellishments and things so that's decorated front and back i love that color uh, this one i'm working on one um of these already in a mini journal as you probably know um, i just love this image of this lady and i wanted it just plain on here against the black it's a smaller uh, journal again and i've done it sort of with a classic um, just inside at the moment. There's maybe three or four signatures and this one again this measures um, about 13 by by about 20 13 by 20 centimeters so that's that one got a smaller one here which is a lovely botanical again it was from the set of um, I bought a few of those postcards to be fair the vintage postcards and I've made some up already uh, but I just love this I just love the uh, and um, so this I would look well in my head it's going to be a botanical journal but it doesn't have to be and I've just filled it with some um, lined it with this sort of well, I don't know uh, well you can, you can see it's roses it's sort of that's how that's lined anyway. Nothing on the back, it's going to be quite plain. Maybe with um, some of the Tim Holtz, um, um, hmm, and they, you know, book plate things like, oh, like that, like this one, like this one here. Um, yeah, so this was the one that we asked the opinion on um, to see which one uh, brooch everybody liked, and the pearl actually won out. And I thought the pearl with the blue rather than the black was quite effective and I'm going to, I don't know, layer this with something else, I'm not quite sure yet but uh, it's a vintage book and that's how it's, that's how that's lined and ready to be filled and I wouldn't mind, in my head it's going to be a really sort of junky junk journal with all sorts of vintage pages in, eclectic mix but I love the colour of that and um, anyway, the measurements on this one that's four, mm, 14 and a half wide and it is, mm -hmm, let's have a look, about 23 and a half centimetres long. So it's got quite a nice spine on it, quite a nice, say four, four and a half centimetre spine. So you could get four really hefty signatures in that one, I think. So that's that one. This is another of the vintage uh, botanical postcards that um, I have. I bought quite a few of. 
and it was simply just digest. No, it's a classic. And I filled that with that beautiful sort of um what's the word? It's wrapping paper, but I just love the colours on that. So that's what I've um, lined it in anyway, that's on the book covers. Vintage um, fabric, and I may well add some lace to this actually, as well as a book plate. I might actually do that, but I don't think you can see the detail on that. Just how beautiful those colours are. And the measurements on that are, that is uh, again 13 centimetres wide, and it is... 20 and a half centimeters long and again we'll probably have about three three signatures I think in that one this one here um, I absolutely love I love to bits um, so that's well, that's the whole let me, let me show you open it up so that's what I've done with this um, so this is like a botanical painting um, and on the inside I've carried on with that I would just love this uh, is it camellia? is that camellia? I can't remember but anyway I've just done like a collage on the back um, of that one and this one I because I love the the, uh, the cream and the black on that actually it's a dark navy it's a very dark navy I think anyway I like that and this one measures Mm, about 14 about 14 centimeters wide and it is about 20 just uh, about 21 and a half centimeters deep it's got quite a nice um, spine on it so that probably hold it about four signatures uh, that one and that could be just left plain or just with a little uh, one of those uh, book name these I think are lovely. Might look quite nice on that. Um, and then I've got this one. Let me see that one there. Uh, that's really got a lot of colour in it. A lot of colour in it. So, um, and then I've laid it with this vintage fabric. All the fabric on the books here, I got it in the same little pack from the charity shop a little while ago. But I just love, I love that um, the colours. I thought they, those go well. And I liked. I liked this, the, the cream and the green. I really like how that works. Out. And here we have, I'm on the inside, I've done it really quite vibrant um, with the uh, botanical. And um, I think that's a little pocket, isn't it? Yeah, a little black pocket on there. This is quite a nice size. It's bigger, it's um, 15 and a half centimetres wide and then uh, it is 23 is that 23 centimeters 23 and a half centimeters long and it probably has about hmm, perhaps two really generous signatures in that i think filled to the brim with all sorts of exciting things so that's that one um i'm also working on this tea oh let's have a look You've probably seen this one. Let me just move this out of the way. I have a little part of it just to make sure I keep in frame. I have all the pages and all the bits and pieces for this actually put together. So I just thought I'd leave them in there for now. But um, you've seen this, I think, um, in the making. Um, that's the afternoon tea um, cover that I'm working on at the moment. It's destined for the Etsy shop, unless it's nabbed before. Um, this is going to be a biggie big project you can see I've started collecting quite a few bits for it um, and I've actually lined it inside with um, it's just a, 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 a an image of sort of party dresses which I thought would be really nice for a posh afternoon tea and then um, this gorgeous lace um, as uh, what's the word uh, tuck spots on um, the front and back it's got a really uh, a really nice sized spine on it so this can be quite chunky I think we can hmm, we're going to be able to fill that quite well but as you can see it's got the Mrs Cogs afternoon tea lady on it which I love it I love 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 and I've done uh, a little collage with the lace and the pearls as well and this uh, one is uh, yeah it's fifteen and a half wide and the length on that one is about 24 centimetres long. 
on that one. So I've done that. And then I've also got, um, I'll just pop these back so you can have a look at those while I find, what have I done with it? Another one, um, a big journal uh, uh, cover that I've actually, I'll put somewhere safe. Or, Having a bit of a moment. <laughs> um, this is um, uh, Daphne's diary image, and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I've chosen a really, well, quite a, a large size um, cover for this, and um, but it's absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, I've started to stuff it full to the gunnels. Um, I've started to collect the pages for this. Um, already I left the original um, sort of uh, papers on the inside because I thought they were just lovely from uh, the, the big floral book that I've, I've had so that's what I've done with that so far and I've just done a little pattern on the, the spine I've reinforced the spine a little bit um, so that's my huge Daphne's diary um, and as you can see I've started to collect lots of lovely lovely images um, lots of nice things to pop in there already so um, yeah that's going to be my Daphne's diary goodie and this one let me just if I can get the that one's going to be what it is it's actually 22 centimeters wide and the length on that is 26 and it'll probably have maybe three signatures with lots of goodies added to that. I'm really looking forward to working with that. So that's the last um, one that I've got at the moment. Um, I have some others that are sort of partly done, um, but they're not lined yet. So I'm just working on the actual um, front covers, front and back covers. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you like what you see. And um, anybody wants to let me know if there's anything you particularly like, put aside uh, to work on then I will happily do that um, so that's it um, for youtubers um, thank you so much I've had quite a few new su su uh, subscribers in the last few weeks and it's been lovely to see and I think we're on our way to our hundred um, subscribers so I think I'm gonna start thinking about a, a, a really nice giveaway to 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 uh, feature on that if you haven't subscribed before if you're new to my channel and you like what you see I'd love it if you could just uh, tick like and leave a comment that would be fabulous and subscribe to keep joining us with our uh, on our junk journaling journey so thanks a lot guys and um, speak to you soon bye bye